Search for App Mink. Searching for target. Target located. Target locked on. Hello, police car. You must be here to become a monster truck. Are you ready? Great! Let's see what we'll need. Hmm. Looks like we need some new tires first. Let's start by removing the old ones. Don't worry, it'll be fixed soon. Yeah, this is a real monster truck wheel. What's next? Oh, the suspension. Wrap up nice and tight. All right, we're going to need four of those. Time for the chassis. Stretch them out, that's it. Looking good. And now, the engine. Just jump right onto the chassis. That's it. Um, hello? Alright, that looks great! And finally, the cabin. Let's get going! Construction complete! Awesome! You're definitely the coolest police car ever! Amazing! Do you like it, Mr. Police Car? I thought you might. Let's go for a test drive! Check out all those tricks! Wow! Amazing! That was awesome! We'll see you next time, everybody! And don't forget to subscribe to App Mink to make sure you don't miss the next episode! Search for App Mink! Somebody help! Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! <laughs> <laughs> I've hit the jackpot this time. Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. <Doctor> Pig. <laughs> evil Dr. Pig thinks he can steal Miss Mink's bag and get away with it? I don't think so. He's driving like a maniac, helicopter. We need to stop him fast before he causes too much damage. Go, car! You can do it! <laughs> How can I shake off that pesky police car? <laughs> I know. Oh no! Car, watch out! Phew, close call. But now I've lost him. Car, there's another way. Go back to the previous intersection and make a right. Look straight ahead, and I think you'll find Evil Dr. Pig on the bus card in the distance. Yeah? Police car again! Where did he come from? Time to end this. 
I know what will get the police car off my tail. Time to use the oil slick. <laughs> nice dodge, car. Thanks, helicopter. Time to speed it up. <laughs> Battering ram systems, go! Hey, what the? Be careful with that thing. Good idea, car. Now's your chance. Oh no, it didn't work. So close, I need a way to get out. Wait, what's that? A tunnel! Finally, I'll be able to get rid of car! Oh no, not again! Now, how will we catch evil Dr. Pig? Finally! A free pig! <laughs> huh? Time to drop a spike strip! A spike strip! Ah! <laughs> you may be able to stop my car, but I can still get away on foot! Not so fast, evil Dr. Pig! Oh no, you don't, evil Dr. Pig. Hmm. Huh? Oh no! <laughs> oh, back in prison again! Search for App Mink. Previously in App Mink Town. Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag. Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig. <laughs> Go, car! You can do it! <laughs> Time to end this. Time to use the oil slick. Oh no, not again! A spike strip! Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig. Oh no, you don't evil Dr. Pig. Oh, oh, back in prison again! I sure am glad no one was hurt today. And we could return Miss Mink's bag. Yeah, I'm glad too, Helicopter. Us cars, we make the best police vehicles. Just look at my shiny motor. It is so powerful. At top speed, I can reach up to 130 miles per hour. Bad guys like Evil Dr. Pig see me coming in their rear vision mirror before they can even say yikes. With my motor, I can rise high up into the sky. Whoa, steady there, helicopter. You'll go right through the top of this building if you're not careful. And the last thing I want to be doing is cleaning up a big mess. For us cars, control is important. We need the best steering to avoid objects on the road. People, animals, and sometimes big rocks, and even oil. Good steering helps us to move around these objects with ease. Helicopters too have plenty of air and space to fly around in, but we also need to change direction quickly. That's why we use our tail rotor. Tail rotors also help keep us stable. Without it, we'd spin around and around in circles. Oh, that sounds scary. We have tires to help us stay stable on the road. Can you think of any conditions that would make it difficult for us to stay on the road, helicopter? In the snow and the rain? Exactly. But good tires keep us on the road, especially at high speed. They are also useful when driving through slippery mud. I bet you would need a good bath after that. Sure do. And I really don't like baths. We also have a rear wing that helps us stay on the road. Not to mention, rear wings look seriously cool. Don't you think, helicopter? It sure does look cool, car. But as you know, helicopters don't want to stay on the ground. They want to fly high into the sky so they can see everything below. We have these huge main rotors to help us do that. I was wondering when you would mention those. <laughs> Sorry, car. Now I will definitely be sure to let you know when I'm around. I could do that with my siren and flashing lights. The lights flash red and blue, and the siren makes a sound like this. Wow, so loud! But wouldn't you rather sneak up quietly on bad guys? Good point, helicopter.
But sirens and flashing lights let other people know that I am coming. That way they can move out of harm's way. We need special lights too. We have a large spotlight for spotting things at night. With our spotlight, we can easily find bad guys. Also, it warns people of potential danger. Wow, helicopter! That is a very bright spotlight. And I can feel the warmth of it. It's like I'm sitting around a campfire. Do you have any marshmallows that we could cook and eat? <laughs> no, I don't have any marshmallows. Sorry, car. I can also make loud sounds through my loudspeaker. With my spotlight and loudspeaker, maybe we can host a special admin disco party. Sounds like fun. You know what, helicopter? We sure do have a lot of differences. But when we work together, we make a great crime-fighting team. Teamwork sure is important, car. Miss Mink was so happy when she got her bag back today. With teamwork, we can make such a difference and help people. We sure can. Search for App Mink. Hey everybody, we're back at App Mink Town today. And guess what? There's a surprise waiting for us at the police station. Let's go find out what it is. Oh, hello, Mr. Walkie Talkie. What have you got for us today? Oh, some wheels? What are these for? Oh, it's the blueprints for a police car. And the wheels are the first step. What's next, Mr. Walkie Talkie? It's whatever's in this box? Ah, it's the axles for the wheels. Let's get them connected up so that we have a foundation for our police car. like so much fun, Mr. Walkie Talkie. Uh-oh, it's Police Chief Mink. Oh wait, he's going to join in. Now that the wheels are getting into position, what's next? We've got the siren, the bumper, the hood and the headlights, and the trunk and the tail lights. Let's see where they need to go. Here comes the hood and the trunk. Oh, look out! Oh no, I hope they're okay. Here comes Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink with the wheels. Alright, nice job guys. Now the helicopter will lower the windshield and the roof. comes the bumper jumping into place. Oh, and now here are the doors flying in from the hills.
You guys know what to do. That's right, right on the sides. And lastly, here comes the siren, jumping onto the roof. Good job, Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink. Now we can introduce the newest member of the At Mink Police Force, Mr. Police Car. Thanks, everybody. Now let's say goodbye to Mr. Police Car as he goes on his way. Please subscribe to At Mink's channel and see you next time. Search for At Mink. Hi, everyone. Today, we get to meet the new monster truck and take him in for an upgrade and some cool new body kit additions. Here he comes now. All right, are you ready to go in? Great, let's go. Down the elevator to the mechanic room. Ready for your upgrade? First, let's take you through the car wash. Oh, you don't like the bathing idea, huh? Don't worry, it'll be okay. Nice and clean, that's it. Looking good. Now, to the designing room. Great! Now that we're in the designing room, let's try some colors. Let's see. Purple? Not bad. White? No, too bright. What about green? Oh, you don't like green? Hmm. How about blue? Yeah, this is perfect. All right, let's put on some cool decals and stickers for you. Wow, there's so many to choose from. Let's go with this one. Fire. That looks awesome. Now a sticker on the back, and some fire on the other side, and now some stickers under the lights at the front. This is looking so cool. What about the top? Perfect. Now let's change the color of the rims. Mm. Yellow. Those go perfectly with your new body color. Oh, what's in here? Wow! Look at all these props and accessories we can add. Punk hair? Afro hair? Horns? Even tusks? <laughs> these are hilarious! For now, let's just put a scoop on the hood and a wing at the back. Also add some exhaust pipes. Wow, you look awesome. This is amazing. You're the best monster truck I've ever seen. Let's show off these sweet new changes to our friends. Wow, amazing. So cool. 
Don't forget to subscribe to AppMing so you don't miss any cool new upgrades like this guy just got. See you next time. Search for AppMink. Welcome back to App Mink Town, everyone. There's a vehicle meet today for the awesome vehicle competition. And some of the vehicles from App Mink are here to show off what they can do. Monster Truck is raring to go. Digger is pushing his way into position. What an impressive jump! The school bus is flying on over. The crane truck's here too, and ready to roll. Are we missing someone? Ah, it's the garbage truck, cleaning up before he gets in position. The monster truck jumps out first to show us what he can do. Howdy kids, I'm the monster truck. I'm the coolest ride in town. I love getting paint jobs and doing stunts. Check out my huge tires. I also have a strong chassis and extra suspension for jumps and tricks. And my engine is extra powerful. I like showing off tricks to my friends, but it often gets me dirty, and I hate taking them back. But I think being dirty just ain't cool. Grr, out of my way. Hey, wait. Kids, if you want to be cool, you've got to be strong. Look at my strong arm. I can dig holes and move heavy things. And look at my strong blade. I can move even heavier things with this or lift them like they're nothing and turn and place them anywhere. Tires aren't cool. Treads are much tougher. They can take you anywhere. And that's why I'm the strong. Hey, wait! Out of the way, make way for someone who's really strong. The strongest are always in a team. We're the crane truck. We're two friends who always work together. The crane can reach up to the sky with his hook and use it to lift heavy things and place them in the right spot. But not only can he lift things, he can also smash him. Bam! We've got six big wheels so we can move heavy objects fast and easily. But if the crane needs more support, I have extra legs to lift heavier and higher. Teamwork is definitely the best. I'll teach you, you giraffe. <laughs> You'll never catch us with those treads. <laughs> Kids, we all know the most fun thing isn't being strong or being with just one friend. It's being with lots of friends. My body is made especially for moving lots of people at once. And I have lots of comfortable seats and top-notch suspension, making me great for carrying all your friends. We'll drive through extreme conditions together and have crazy adventures. And when it's all said and done, I'll make sure you go home soon. I bring you and your friends together 
Oh no, look at the time! I'm late to pick up the kids from school again! Hi kids, I'm not the coolest or the strongest, and I can't take you and your friends on adventures. Some of you might have seen me before though. That's because I get up really early and drive through town. I use my mechanical arm to pick up garbage bins and clean unneeded objects and store them in my body. This means you can get rid of rubbish so your home doesn't get cluttered and is tidy and clean and has room for toys. <sighs> but I have to go to bed now. Tomorrow I'll be up early again. Bye kids. Good night. Thanks for watching and tell us in the comments who your favorite vehicle is. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Search for App Mink. Is everyone ready for a song? Okay, let's go! Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all the way to town. The doors on the bus, they open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus, they open and close, all the way to town. The bus goes ching ching ching, ching ching ching, ching ching ching. The money on the bus goes ching ching ching, all the way to town. The driver on the bus says, Move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver of the bus says, Move on back, and don't forget to put your seatbelts on. All the way to town. The monkeys on the bus put the seatbelts on. Song. The monkeys on the bus put their seatbelts on and they enjoy the ride. The motor on the bus goes vroom vroom vroom, vroom vroom vroom, vroom vroom vroom. The motor on the bus goes vroom vroom vroom, all the way to town. All the way to town. The horn on the bus goes beep. goes beep, 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 you better get out the way. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 to wash away the rain. All the way through town. The antennas on the bus go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Antennas on the bus go back and forth and Search for App Mink. Okay, kids, let's learn some letters. A. Apple. D. 
door. E. Eggs. Flower. G. Get. H. Hat. Ice cream. That was great. Let's check them out one more time. Now, let's take a break. Search for App Mink. Hi everyone, and welcome back to App Mink. Today, Mr. Train is going to help us learn about numbers. Look at all those numbers we're going to get to learn today. First up, we have number one. And we have one monster car next to it. The crane and trucks are helping us with some logs. Hi, Mink. Hi. Oh, and you've got number two. Just like how you have two arms and two legs. The school bus and the monster truck are helping us out with this one. Now number three, and look, three stars. The dump truck is going to help us create the three using nuts. Next comes the number four and it's surrounded by four umbrellas. Mr. Train is going to show us how to make a four. Great work! Oh no, number five is surrounded by five of Evil Dr. Pig's minions. But don't worry, Mr. Helicopter is here to show us how to make one. Number six. Look at all the presents. This time, Mr. Police Car will help us. Now, number seven. That's how many colors there are in a rainbow. The monster truck is making a seven with Lego bricks. And guess what? For number eight, we have eight Lego bricks as well. Lots of cars are showing us how to make an eight. Now we get to number nine, and there's nine apples. 
Let's make a nine on the wall with a paint roller. Finally, number 10 with 10 balloons. Mr. Train is making the zero and the logs are making the one. Now let's go through them all one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks for showing us how to count to 10, Mr. Train. We had lots of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to App Mink so we can learn more cool things. See you next time. All right, time to build a new friend. Do you know who it is? We're starting with the connector. Now we're adding the back and the wheels. Here comes the cab. Looking great. Our exhaust pipes, bumper, and roof. Then finally the back. Garbage truck. Garbage truck. That's right, it's Mr. Garbage Truck. Bicycle. Bicycle. Mr. Garbage Truck is taking the bicycle. What next? TV. TV. The TV is next. Now? A lamp next. Any more? Chair. Chair. He's taking a chair. What goes with a chair? Table. Table. Yep, a table. Great work, Mr. Garbage Truck. Are you ready for the next song? This one's about an itsy bitsy little spider. Come on, let's sing. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Climbed up the water spout Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out Sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again.
Okay, what are we building today, Mink? Looks like we've got a chassis with different kinds of doors on each side. Interesting. Let's keep watching. Here comes the... Wheels. Th that's right! Wheels. Mr. Dump Truck is helping us with more parts. Now we have the full chassis. 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 What goes in the chassis? Engine. Engine. Yep, the engine. Now, what do we need to sit in? Seat. Yep, the seat. Seat. Let's start adding some of the outside parts. Now do you know who this guy is? Monster Truck. Monster Truck. Yep, he's a monster truck. Look at him go! What a jump! Search for App Mink! Hi everybody, and welcome back to another educational adventure with Mr. Train and everyone from App Mink Town. Hi Mr. Train! Today, we're going to learn about shapes! How many shapes do you know? Let's find out! The first shape is a circle! Did you know that the sun is a circle? Look at how happy he is about it! The police car and the school bus are showing us how the circle goes round and round. Next is the triangle. Did you know pyramids are made from triangles? These pyramids come all the way from Egypt. Mr. Train is showing us the triangle shape this time. Our third shape is the square. A square has four sides. Look at those exciting square presents. I wonder what's inside. The monster truck is bringing us four Lego blocks to make the four sides of the square. Our next shape is the pentagon. Did you know that the black spots on soccer balls are pentagons? But not the white spots. We'll find out about those next. The crane trucks are bringing us logs to use as the five sides of the pentagon. Stop! Oh, wait, it's just our next shape, the hexagon! Now, if we line up the holes at the end of these six beams, we can make a hexagon. Let's lock them in place with the screws. Our sixth shape is a super shape. It's the star! And we have our superstar star here with us too! What's this? What is Evil Dr. Pig doing? Oh, he's pretending to be Pac-Man and eating Pac-Dots in the corners of the star! Now, we've got a diamond shape. Most kites are diamond shaped, with the tail flowing down from the bottom point. To make a diamond, we're going to get some help from our good friend, Mr. Dump Truck. Next is one of the loveliest shapes, the heart shape. 
Look at all the heart that little bear has got to give. Remember to give the people you love hearts like this bear to show them you care. Mr. Helicopter is going to draw a big heart in the sky for us. Thanks so much, Mr. Helicopter. It looks great. Our ninth shape is the oval. And what are the ovals we have in the basket? That's right, they're eggs! The dump truck is going to dump the eggs in the shape of an oval. It's an oval of ovals! Great work, Mr. Dump Truck! Our last shape is the rectangle. It looks like a stretched out square. Let's build a rectangle out of blocks. And now that we know how to make one, we can paint a rectangle on the wall. If you think you can draw a rectangle as well, draw one in the air with your finger. That's all of the shapes for today. Let's go through them one more time. Circle, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, star, diamond, heart, oval, and rectangle. Thanks so much for your help, Mr. Train, and everyone else from AppMink. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time! All right, kids, we're going to learn about numbers. And guess what? We're going to learn with some awesome car jumping stunts. Now that we've made the ramps, we need our first car. And here's the monster truck, ready to do his first jump. How many cars are there? One. One. Next! Two. Wow, a 360! Two. Alright, ready for the next jump? Three. Wow, a backflip! Three. Four. Reverse into 180! Four. Wow! Okay, getting hotter. Five. Five. Six. Another 360. Six. More cars. Seven. Another reverse into 180. Seven. Eight. Whoa, a barrel roll. Eight. Okay, here we go. Nine. Another backflip. Nine. Ten. Last jump. Ten. He made it. Great work, Mr. Monster Truck. Thanks for helping us learn to count. Search for App Mink. Hi everybody, and welcome back to At Mink. Boy, have we got something exciting today. Look at all these fruits and colors. And guess what? That's what we're learning about today, colors. All right, so first up we have the tomato. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's red. Great job. red button. And wow! Look at all the red tomatoes rolling in the pool. Whoa! <laughs> oh, look! Whoa. And me too! Hi, Mink! <laughs> Hi! Okay, are you ready for the next one? What color is this fruit? Correct! Blue! That's why they're called blueberries. Time to hit the blue button and watch the blueberries roll into the pool. Look at them all. And it's Fanny Claus <laughs> enjoying the pool with the blueberries this time. Next, we have lemons. Do you know what color lemons are? the yellow button and send the lemons into the pool now. And who have we got mm. enjoying the pool this, this time? 
good drink. It's Big Mink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's mm -hmm. got a lemon drink too. Okay, can you guess the color of our next fruit? Great guess! They're blackberries. Let's hit the black button and send the blackberries into the pool now. Everybody. You got it! It's brown! Let's hit the brown button and check out the coconuts! Oh! Big Mink's going to die! Uh, Were you watching? Very cool, Big Mink. Our next fruit is the watermelon. Do you know what color a watermelon is? Right again. It's green. Now to hit the green button. Look at all the watermelons. Raspberries? That's it! Purple! They're purple raspberries! Let's hit the purple button and get some raspberries in the pool! Oh no! It's evil Dr. Pig again! And he's looking suspicious! This time, we have a vegetable! Garlic. What color is garlic? You got it again. It's white. Now to hit the white button and get some garlic in our pool. Oh, look. It's Mink again. And he's enjoying his swim with the garlic. what you'd like to learn next time. Search for App Mink. Hi everyone. Tonight is the night of Halloween for App Mink Town. And it's looking especially scary. The monster cars are sitting around the campfire swapping ghost stories. When all of a sudden, <laughs> I've cast a spell on you all. 
It's a spell that gives you costumes to go trick-or-treating in. Now we've got our own magic and extra scary designing room. So, you're up first, Flash? Well, I think you will make a great Frankenstein. Perfect. You're up next, Speedy. All right, cowboy for you. Abracadabra. Wow, check out that hat and mustache. Victor, you can be a rock star. Hope you like rock and roll. So cool. And how about a werewolf for you, Bluey? Mm, look at those teeth. I'm scared already. And lastly, Blaze. You can be an Indian. Such a fantastic headdress. Okay, are you guys ready to go? Let's do some trick-or-treating. Oh, this is Ming's house. Who is it? And he's got a huge bowl of candy. What an awesome show! <laughs> what a great punk rock costume! You're definitely a rock star. Don't forget to thank Mink for the candy. You make such a great Frankenstein! <laughs> what does Big Mink think? He loves it. <laughs> oh, well, let me take a picture. Don't forget to thank him for the candy. Okay, who's next? Huh? Someone's at the door! Well, howdy there, Miss Mink. Oh, uh, wow! Could you spare some candy for our partner here? That's such a great cowboy costume! What a great cowboy! Here you go! Don't forget to say thanks! Oh, here comes Blaze! He's sneaking up to the police station. Oh, you and Police Chief Mink are both wearing the same costume. Isn't that funny? Thanks, Police Chief Mink. And now, Fox Mink's house. Don't scare him too much with that werewolf costume. You're scary. Thanks for the candy, Fox Mink. Hope you all had a good time, and happy Halloween from everyone here at Abmink! Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time! Starts with A, B, B, baby starts with B, C, C, car starts with C, D, D, dog starts with D, E, E, egg starts with E, F, F, fox starts with F. It's easy to learn letters you see. It's easy to learn singing with me. G G goat starts with G. H H hand starts with H. I I igloo starts with I. J J jump starts with J. K K kite starts with K. L L light starts with L. It's easy to learn letters you see. It's easy to learn singing with me. M M moon starts with M. N N net starts with N. O 
oh, orange starts with O. P, p, pig starts with P. Qua, qua, queen starts with Q. R, r, ring starts with R. It's easy to learn the letters you see. It's easy to learn singing with me. S, s, snake starts with S. T, t, tiger starts with T. A, a, umbrella starts with U. V, v, violin starts with V. W, w, wave starts with W. X, 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 ray starts with X. Y, y, yacht starts with Y, Z, Z, Zoo starts with Z. It's easy to learn the letters you see. Thank you all for singing with me. Thank you all for singing with me. It's a new day here at Atmink, and we've got a new vehicle to build. A tractor! Truck. Truck. Our truck is here helping us. Here's some of the parts we need. Shall we get started? Okay, let's go. Let's start putting everything together. Looking great! Can't forget the lights! Alright, the truck is back with more parts! What have we got here? Looks like that's the rest of the cabin. And the wheels are here too. Let's get everything put together so we can meet our new friend. What was his name again? Tractor. Tractor. That's right! Tractor! And what's he going to pull over here? Trailer. Trailer. That's right! A trailer! And it looks like he's going to use the trailer to pull an animal. What animal is it? Cow. Cow. That's right. It's a cow. Thanks for joining us and helping to build the tractor. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Let's count. Help. Apple tree. One, two, three, four, five. Five apples. Awesome. One.
two, three, four, five. Good job. Try again. Five, four, three. Two, one, well done. Colors Colors Red Red Yellow Yellow Green Green Orange Orange Shapes Shapes Triangle Triangle Square Square Rectangle Rectangle Pentagon Pentagon Circle Circle Search for App Mink Good morning everybody It's still really early in App Mink Town So we don't want to wake anyone up Look at all the sleeping parts! Good morning, Mink! You're going to play us a song? Oh, wow! It sounds so cool! And it's woken up Mr. Crane Truck's parts! Let's watch him collect them all and put himself together! The wheels are getting ready and waiting for the body. Here he comes.
the cab is getting the seat and some of the other parts on his way over. It's all coming together now. Looking great. Now, some of Mink's magical music is going to bring them together forever. Look at Mr. Crane carry those logs. Great work! Search for App Mink. Hello, everybody. Hello. Today, we are going to build a helicopter. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. First, we should call the landing skis. Wow, here they are. The cabin is coming. Right on its place. Everything we need to be stable. Hey monster truck! Are these the parts for the helicopter's tail? Wow! Fantastic! The blades with the main rotor. Cool! Over here! Get in the helicopter! Time the doors! One... Two... Three... Four! Well done! <laughs> ah, the keys! You can do it, Mink! Yeah! Here we go! Cool! Yeah! 
He's flying! Alright, now we're over at the At Ming Town Railway Station. And guess what? We're going to build Mr. Train. Let's start assembling him. Now, what have we got here? Rocket. That's right! And where does a rocket go to? Space. Great work! Look at that! The rocket was actually part of the train! Starting to look good, Mr. Train! Now the dump truck is here. What have you got for us? Wheels. Wow, thanks so much. They'll be a great help. What's next? Engine. That's right. The engine helps the wheels work. All right. Just the finishing touches left. Now, what have we got here? Train. That's right, it's Mr. Train. And what's this he's going to pull? Wagon. Yep, a wagon. Let's watch him go. Wow, looking great, Mr. Train. Search for App Mink. So, are you coming to the App Mink disco party tonight, Mink? Helicopter and I will be putting on quite a show. Bright lights and cool music. We will all be sure to have a great time. Sure am, Car. I'm looking forward to it very much. Help! Help! Someone! Fennec, what's going on here? And why is the tree on fire? I'm glad you're here, Mink. There is a little kitty stuck on top of that tower. And Big Mink climbed that tree to try and rescue it. Then a branch broke off and the tree fell onto the power lines. One of the lines broke away from the power pole and the spark from it caused a fire. Help! How do we stop this? Don't worry, Fennec Fox, Big Mink, or a little kitty. I know the right person for the job. Walkie talkie. The morning in, Chief. Walkie talkie, can you call up fire truck? Sure thing, Mink. Fire truck, do you copy? We have a problem here and we need you ASAP. Copy that, walkie talkie. What seems to be the problem? We have Big Mink stuck high up in a tree and a kitty high up in a tower. They both need your help, and with your long rescue ladder, we'll be able to get them both down safely. And by the way, fire truck, a fire has started as well. I'm on it. Now, call in the electrician to turn off the power in the street immediately. We don't want any more fires to start, or for someone to get electrocuted. Oh, guys, hurry up! Help is on the way, Big Mink! Hang in there! Thank goodness!
doing this here here, fire truck? Freddy Fox, take the hose and stop putting out that fire. You will need to attach me to that fire hydrant over there. Oh, all this smoke is making me feel dizzy. I think I might fall. Don't worry, Big Mink. Fire truck is here, and we'll get you and Kitty down soon. Mink, we have no time to spare. You have to climb the ladder and get Big Mink down. Oh no, fire truck! The ladder doesn't quite reach. The ladder is only five meters long. I need another five meters to reach Big Mink. And worse still, I need another ten meters to reach Kitty. What do we do? Don't worry, Mink. I have a ladder extension. I can provide the extra ten meters you need. The fire is nearly out, team. Mink, have you reached Big Mink? Don't worry, Big Mink. We've got you. Boy, am I glad to see you, Mink. Thanks for coming to my aid. Don't mention it. Time to bring him down, Mink. Wait, Mink. Don't forget, Kitty. Big Mink, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. But I did cause a whole lot of trouble. Don't be so hard on yourself, Big Mink. While it's true that we can all be heroes, we all have our own strengths and limitations. You're right, Mink. Maybe I'm not the best climber after all. Don't worry, Big Mink. You just wanted to help. And well done for that. Yay! Everyone is safe and sound! Thanks, Ghost to Fire Truck, for helping us out again. And just in time for the disco. Let's go! I'm hungry. Search for App Mink. Welcome back to App Mink Town. Looks like Mr. Train is doing well. <laughs> oh no, is that evil Dr. Pig? What's he doing? It looks very suspicious. What's in that bag? There are some very suspicious looking tools. And was that dynamite? What's he gonna do with that? Oh, this doesn't look good. Evil Dr. Pig, please stop! Oh my gosh! This is terrible! Mink! Oh no! Police copter, please help! The tunnel has been blown up! First we're gonna put out the fire, and then move that log. Good work, Mr. Fire Truck. Putting out the fire is a great first step. Same goes for you, Mr. Crane. Good work. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, how do we move all this? Oh, that evil Dr. Pig. I know what we should do. What's that, Miss Mink? You've got an idea. I think we should build a digger. Oh, yeah, that's pretty clever. Look here. All right, let's get started. First, we need the cab. Come on, cab. Don't leave us hanging. Next come the sides and the seat. Jump on, guys. And on to the base. Grill, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Next, come. 
comes the boom, arm, and the bucket. Quickly, we've got a tunnel to fix. Dr. Pig's minions are here to stop us. Next up, we need the tilt cylinder and the blade. Great work! And now, the tracks and the frame. Ready to get rolling. Finally, the steering wheel gets to join. And now we're ready to help fix the tunnel. Oh, maybe a bit more power first. Oh, you're forgetting something. Huh? Thanks, Big Mink. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. All right, Mink. Let's go. Uh, uh. Uh, <gasps> evil Dr. Pig's minions are trying to stop us again. Time to waste. Mm. Hurry, Mink, we gotta get this cleaned up. Don't worry, I'm on it. Oh, oh, Mink, oh no, the train is coming. Hurry, Mink. <laughs> this is it. It's getting closer. I can do it. Alright, this is you it. You can do it, Mink. The train is saved! Another crisis avoided thanks to Mink and his friends. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to at Mink so you can see what Mink and his friends are up to next time. See you then! Search for at Mink! Hey there, AppMink scholars, and welcome to the first installment of AppMink Academy. Today, we'll be talking about the seasons. As you know, there are four seasons. Summer is very hot, and there's lots of sunshine. Winter is very cold, and depending on where you live, there may be snow and ice. Spring is warm, and lots of flowers come out in bloom. And in autumn, the leaves change color and fall from the trees. But you might be wondering, why do we have seasons? That is an excellent question. Let's join Mink on a journey into outer space to find out.
Firstly, it is important to remember that like other planets in our solar system, the Earth moves around the Sun in a circular path called an orbit. Bearing that in mind, let's take a closer look at our Earth. Earth is a sphere, like an orange. There is an imaginary line running through the Earth called the axis. You may notice that the axis does not run straight up and down. This is because the Earth is actually on a tilt or lean. That tilt is the reason for the seasons. As the Earth orbits around the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean toward the Sun and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. But you might be wondering, why is summer hotter than the other seasons? Another excellent question. It's because during summer, when the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the sun, it receives more direct sunlight. In other words, that warm, toasty sunlight is hitting that part of the Earth straight on. It is more concentrated in one spot and more intense. And what about winter? Well, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the sun, it's winter there. Winter is colder than the other seasons because during winter, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the sun, it receives indirect sunlight. In other words, that warm and toasty sunlight is now hitting the Earth at an indirect angle. It is spread out over a larger area and less intense. As for spring and autumn, these are the in-between seasons. During spring and autumn, the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun. Clear as mud? It may help us if we follow the Earth on its orbit around the sun and see how it works. Imagine you are here. What season would it be? I'll put that question to you, at Mink Scholars. I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said summer, then you are correct. Well done. The answer is summer because the place where the arrow is pointing is leaning towards the sun. Now let's see what happens as the Earth orbits around the sun. Let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun? Right now, it would be autumn. Off we go again. Okay, let's stop here. We have made the journey right around to the other side of the sun. Do you notice that where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun? So, at Mink Scholars, what season would it be? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said winter, then you are correct! Well done! The answer is winter because the place where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun. Let's keep going. Again, let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun again? Right now, it would be spring. Time to finish off this journey around the sun. Okay, so now we've arrived back where we started and it's summer again in the place indicated by the arrow. And hopefully, you have a clear understanding as to why we have the seasons. But our learning is not over yet. Did you notice how long that journey took to complete one whole orbit? I'll give you another five seconds to think about it. If you said one year or 365 days, then you're correct! It takes one year or 365 days for the Earth to make a full orbit of the Sun. In that time, we have four seasons. Each season is three months in length. And one more thing. Let's look at the Earth moving around the Sun again. You'll notice that when the top half of the Earth is leaning towards the Sun, the bottom half is leaning away from the Sun. That means that when it is summer in the top half of the Earth, it is winter in the bottom half of the Earth. For example, when it is summer in Australia, it is winter in the USA. 
so the bottom half always has the opposite season to the top half of the Earth. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So why do we have seasons? Because our Earth is not straight up and down, but rather it is tilted on its axis. That means that as the Earth orbits the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean towards and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. When the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. When the Earth is neither leaning towards or away from the Sun, it is spring or autumn. The relative temperatures in each season are related to the amounts of direct sunlight that a part of the Earth is receiving at any given time. So, that's it for the first installment of App Mink Academy. Now you know why we have seasons. Till next time, and as always, keep on learning! Okay kids, it's time for a song! Do you know about Old MacDonald and his farm? You do? Then sing along! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O With a quack quack here and a quack quack there Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some pigs E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Well, Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some cows E-I-E-I-O with a moo moo here and a moo moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Yeah, Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some dogs E-I-E-I-O with a woof woof here and a woof woof there Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Yeah, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some cats, E-I-E-I-O with a meow meow here and a meow meow there Here a meow there meow everywhere a meow meow Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Well, Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some horses E-I-E-I-O With a nay nay here and a nay nay there here, nay, there, nay, everywhere, nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O.